And because of that weather, drivers in New Orleans East experienced another super fog event this morning. Those conditions causing multiple road closures across the city. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor is live near I-10 where some drivers were stuck in traffic for hours, Shay, before conditions did improve. Good afternoon to you, Elizabeth. Yeah, New Orleans Police Department as well as DOTD, they lifted those closures a couple or, or so hours ago as conditions began to improve. So as of right now, I-10 as well as I-510, Highway 11, all open at this time. Now, we're just going to take you to some of how those conditions looked earlier this morning. I'm told that when the fog became too thick, NOPD and DOTD crews could be seen barricading off these areas to avoid any more crashes, given all of those crashes yesterday. I'm told they've been out since about three this morning monitoring conditions. Last month, another pileup, as we know, caused by extreme fog and smoke, caused seven deaths along I-55. Causeway officials tell me conditions along the causeway were better this morning. At some point, they did begin to deteriorate, but closures along the causeway were not needed today. Now, this low visibility is pretty much caused in part by the marsh fire that continues to burn near Bayou Sauvage. Crews are still working to put that underground fire out as we speak. Now, we talked to one driver who had to sit in traffic along I-10 before the area was eventually reopened. In Hopedale, I found out about halfway here that there was a little bit of fog, which you know, we had a wreck a week or two ago, and I understand caution, but this is typical. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. You can look down the road, there's no fog for miles and miles and miles. And we are expecting more fog overnight, so likely conditions will be the same tomorrow morning. And of course, WDSU will continue to keep you updated. Reporting live from New Orleans, East, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Yes, Shay, really important for everyone to stay safe and to stay updated on smoke and fog in our area and how it's impacting your drive. You can go ahead and download our free WDSU mobile app and go ahead also and turn on your alerts.